Nice to see you again after a long time. How are you doing? How are you all doing? And the, how is your family? How is everything? I tell you, the Lord is good. The Lord is good to you. Okay, so I'm so glad. I'm so happy to be back after some some days. After some. Anyway, it's nice to have um, a break you know, to to rest. It's always good for us to have time to rest and uh, relax with the family. Okay, so I want to say happy Easter to all of you. I want to say that you all are blessed. I love you all so much. Love you, love you from the bottom of my heart. Especially all of you that subscribe to this channel and to us men that is listening to the word of God and believing the word of God, not believing in me, not believing me, or believing the word of God, the word of life. I want to say you are blessed. I want to say that you are blessed. You are already blessed. Okay, so um, happy Easter. You know, we are on we are the season, the, 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 the season of the greatest thing ever happened to man. Before I proceed, I have to say happy Easter to all of you. All you my viewers, all you my subscribers and those that we still subscribe, all you that love Jesus, love truth, that love righteousness, I want to say happy Easter. And I will also say even you will both Christians and non-Christians, I want to also say that God loves you. God loves you so much. God loves the whole world. He did not put a demarcation. He did not put a demarcation when it comes to his love. God loves God loves so much. God loves so you know, the whole world. The Bible says, for God so loved, for God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. The world. He did not say for God so loved the Christians. Alone, or for God so love the Muslims, or for God so love the Buddha, the Buddhas, the Buddhists, or God so love the 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 uh, 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 pagans. Did not say God, did not say something like that. He said, for God, for God so love the world, the world in and you not know, entirety, you no, know, in, in 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 the whole that is in unison, everybody. He loved you. He loved the whole world. And this is what Easter is all about. God shows his love to the whole world so that the whole world can come back to him. This is the main reason John 3 system was written for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, that, that whoever believed in him should not perish they have everlasting life. God doesn't want the whole world to perish. God, God doesn't want the world to perish. He wants the world to come to him. He wants the world to come and, live and receive the life that is hidden. This life, this life I'm talking about is hidden in his soul alone. In his soul alone. The life, if you want life, you come to his son, you come to Jesus, you receive life. Okay, before I go on, I want to pray for you that the word of God that you want to hear we bring a change, we transform your life and take away every negativity out of you and impact, impact the real law that you need to move on and to be a true child of God. Heavenly Father, I welcome you. As we go into your word, bless us through your word. Take away every veil from us, from our eyes. Let every barrier be taken away. And let the power of your word flow like none before. And do incredible things in the life of your people. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being control now. Take over now. And be glorified forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so... I'm reading right now. I want to, in this video, I want to make, I want to teach you something. I want to tell you 
what love, what love is all about, the meaning of love, the way I understand it, the way I see love, the meaning of love. I want to give it to you now. In the book of John chapter 15, John chapter 15 verse 13, the meaning of Easter and what love is all about. So this is what I want to uh, share with you now. John chapter 15 verse, verse 13. No one, no one has, I'm reading right now, John chapter 15 verse 13. No one has greater, no one has greater love. No one has shown stronger affection than to lay down, than to lay down, give up his own life for his friends. I come again, I'm reading Amplified, Amplified Bible, so, so that you want to understand very well what I'm talking about. So no one, no one has, no one has greater love. No one has shown stronger affection, affection than to lay down lay down, give up his own life for his friends. I want you to understand the meaning of love. Easter is a time that Christians are supposed to go back and rethink and think about their life and think about their stand, their stand in Christ and, 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 and the do plus and the minus and try to know whether they are on the right path or they are on the wrong wrong path. Whether they are still, you know, on the on the lane or they are out of the lane. Because we are running a, a race. We're in a race. So you need to examine yourself. This is what is that is all about. Bible say, you know, says in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus, that whoever, he said whoever, he did not say a particular family, a particular country, a particular a, 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 a continent, he said, For God so loved the world, the whole world, for the, you know, the whole world, that he gave. His only begotten son, that whoever, whoever is whoever, who individual, who individual, who you know, whoever is can be a family, whoever can be a state, whoever can be a country, whoever can be a continent, whoever can be the whole world, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And no one have, have ever or will ever show such affection as I read now. No one has, has greater, no one has greater love. No one has shown greater, uh, stronger, no one has shown stronger affection than to lay down, give up his own life for his friends. When I am, I am one of the people that Jesus came to die for. He died for me, he died for he died for the whole world. He died for Africans. He died for the Europeans. He died for the Americans. He died for the Asians. He died for the whole world. When the whole world did not know him, he died for the sins of the whole world. I want you to understand the meaning of love. Love means, the meaning of true love, the love of Christ, is giving the best to the people that did not love you is what I understand. Loving the people that even hated you, that not even know you, loving them, giving the best, thinking the best for them means love, means the love of Christ. Because I did not know him, he loves me, he loves me, he died for me. He died for you. You do not know him. Even as I'm talking to somebody that will listen to me, that maybe you have not known him, you do not know Jesus, not know our God, but you will hear him as I'm talking to, as I'm talking right now, and you say, I want to know him. I want to receive this love. He will, the love is already done. It is already done. It is a done deal. Just say, 
I welcome the Lord. You will see the power. You will see that He He will envelop envelop you. He will He will rapture you. He will envelop you. He will He will, he will surround you immediately. As you hear the word, this love that somebody laid down his life for the people that not even know, and you say, "Who is that? I want to know him. I want to give my life to him." And you welcome him. You will see. You begin to experience the power in his love immediately. And this is love that you love people that not love you. That you think good of people that are thinking bad of you. That you love people that hated you, that don't want to see you, that is talking bad about you, that is gossiping about you, that is a, 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 a plotting evil against you, that you love them. God loved the world, he gave his son. And the son came to the world, the whole world, the whole world not say we love you too. Instead, they show you wickedness, they killed him. But the power in his love, the power in his love is able to cause that great, that great change, to cause that everlasting change that can never be erased in the history of mankind. When you are thinking good of those or people that is thinking evil for you, let me tell you something, you always be ahead. You, you will always be ahead. You always be ahead. And there is no man or no woman will return evil for your law that will go free. That same law will still, will, will still go ahead to put them wrong. In due time, the same law we are showing to them, they are showing to the people that they do, that is gossiping about you, that is mocking you, that is killing you, that is thinking of food damage, you know, over your life, why over your life, that love you are showing we one day prove them wrong. This is what is lacking in the Christian dom. People that call themselves Christians, Christians means Christian means Christ like, like the one that died, like Jesus Christ. We are to 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 to, to display, we are to show forth. You know, Jesus, we are to show the world that Jesus is living in us by the way we love, by the way we love the world. But these days, even we don't even love our fellow believers or our fellow Christians that is in the household or that we are worshipping in the same a, 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 a temple or in the same structure. We don't, you can't, you can't see love among Christians, among among their gatherings. You look at their face, you look at the way they behave to each other, you are seeing all that you'll be seeing is wickedness. How much more people out there that did not know God, that did not, that is, that is not coming to church where you are worshiping or coming near you. How can you love them when you don't, when we Christians don't love ourselves? The hatred the hatred between Christians these days pissed me off. There is nothing like Christ-like. There is nothing like what Jesus displayed to the whole world among believers. There is nothing like that. All we are seeing is the opposite. Wickedness, hatred, all manner of evil is what we are seeing among Christians. This this calls for us to examine, to examine ourselves. Okay, so my message, my Easter message to you, to you, to you, to you, my Easter message to you is that you go back and read John 15, verse 13. No one has greater love, no one has shown stronger affection than to lay down, give up his own life for his friends. He called me and your friends when we are his enemy. Can you see your enemy and call your enemy my friend? This is love. My friend, you treat your enemy as your best friend, giving him the best. Makes you, makes you to be a true child of God. I pray that we, that is following Christ, that call ourselves Christians, should go back to love. 
loving the world. Stop loving only the Christians. Love the Muslims. Love the, the unbelievers. Love the wicked. But love, when, when the whole world see the love of Jesus in, in, you know, in, in, the, in, the, in the church, when the whole world see this love in us, they, we don't need to preach too much. They will respond. We will control the whole world. We will rule over the world. This is what is lacking. You know, good over evil. Love, love over wickedness. You know, life over death. This is what the love of Christ can do. So I have to end this video. I don't know, because if I talk now, I want to say, let the love of Christ be planted, the true love of Christ. This is to be planted in the life of the believer, in the life of any true child of God. That too we, that is, that too we understand the, the power that is in this law. The law that can cause resurrection. The law that caused the devil and demons to fall asleep. And he get up, he just get up from the grave and walk away. And 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 hold the hold the enemy captive. The love of Jesus in us will, will render the whole evil power in the whole world useless when we receive it and operate with this law. Not, not operating with the system of the whole of the, of the people of the world or of the world. Okay, I want to say God bless you and happy Easter, celebrate Easter. Celebrate the victory that Christ has given to us. That victory is doubled once again in your life as you operate with this law, thinking good of your family members, both the ones that love you and will not love you, thinking good, both to the to know, thinking good of Christians and the non-Christians, thinking good of the Muslims and the wicked and the people that don't love you, thinking good of them, praying for them, and the and the, and the, and, the, and the giving the best you will see the victory of Jesus manifesting in the every areas of your life. God bless you and the remembrance. Celebrate the Easter. I wish you the best celebration. Have a nice celebration. You and your family and all the people of God all over the world.